Welcome back guys, it's JDog here from Seacoast and today we're going to go through how to convert your Java or Bedrock worlds. And this is all going to be using a free and very easy to download app that you can all get from the Microsoft Store. And one of the great things is, is that you can convert your older Bedrock or Java worlds and then upload it to your server easily. So let's get started first by going to the Microsoft Store and in the top search bar search for JE2BE. You'll see the app that looks like this. Click on the app and then go ahead and install it. Now to use the app, you simply come down to your search bar and again search for JE2BE and then open up the app. It's extremely simple and works just as it is. It binds to the folders that it needs to, so this is going to be from your single player world. So anything within your launcher that's on your PC, you can move over, even folders from your Xbox 360, and you can do this with custom folders. So let's just go ahead and uh, choose Java to Bedrock, and this is going to work the same either way. So if I click Java to Bedrock, you're going to see that we can select the worlds that's actually on our Minecraft right now, or we can select from other directories if you have got it saved as a folder somewhere. Same with if I click to Bedrock to Java, you're going to see that we have all of our single player worlds right here, or you can select a .mc world file, or the world folder with all the files within it. So with this in mind, I'm just going to go ahead Java to Bedrock. I'm going to choose a version that will definitely be able to see the map is different. And that's going to be the Cops and Robbers map. You'll also notice it's an older version, which will change over. Then go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and click Start. It will then start all the compression. And after that, if it's for Bedrock, the level DB compaction. This really will depend on how big your world is. Some may take a few seconds. Some may take 20, 25 minutes. Once it's done, you'll get this message and then you can choose where to save it. You can either do it directly into your Minecraft Bedrock save folder or if you're doing Java the other way around, you can save it into a custom folder or export it as an MC world. So let's just go save it straight into our Bedrock save folder. Great, all done, so let's click OK. Next up, let's load Minecraft to make sure that it's actually uploaded the world correctly. So in this case, I'm gonna load up Bedrock just to make sure the map has converted well from Java to Bedrock and using the different versions as well. So I'm gonna be opening it on 1.19.2 and it has come from 1.15.2. Now let's go ahead, click on play. And if I scroll down a little bit, we can see cops, robbers, high security right there. So first of all, let's just change this over to creative so we can actually fly around, make sure it is the same map. Press continue, press play. Now, usually what happens with programs like this is that any chunks that haven't generated already will generate in the newer version as I've just opened it up in 1.19.2 and any of the explored chunks will stay the same. Well, it looks like that's certainly come over nicely. Obviously, things like command blocks won't come over or, you know, all the commands won't come over. But as you can see, I've got the whole entire map over here. If we break into here, we should be able to see some cells or something. And we've converted the whole map within a few minutes. I mean, that, that's some pretty good converting. Obviously, you might get some troubles with redstone, as previously mentioned, command blocks, and certain things not matching up if they've been built with shaders on. But all in all, a very worthwhile app. So now you might be wondering how you can upload this to your servers. Well, we do, in fact, have some videos of how to upload your single-player worlds to your servers that we'll have popping up right now. And we've got one for Java and one for Bedrock. So thanks for watching, guys. If you are in need of a server yourself, make sure to come over to www.seekerhost.co, grab yourself a server. You can use Java, Bedrock, Modded, or any other popular type of server. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.